Our country has a wide inequality gap between its haves and have-nots, and among other things, this affects how healthy we are. For example, diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and cancer are a bigger problem among those living in poorer areas. But how big a problem? To find out, our statisticians, working with analysts at the government's National Cancer Intelligence Network, looked at the income levels of different areas of England, alongside their cancer rates. By grouping these into ascending income levels, they could calculate how many cancer deaths could be avoided if everyone fared as well as the most well-off fifth of the population. It turns out that there could be 19,000 fewer cancer deaths each year if we close the inequality gap completely. That's more than there are passengers on 200 double-decker buses each year. So, why is inequality linked to cancer? The main reason is that smoking rates are higher among people living in poorer areas. Most of the cancer types where inequality made a big difference are linked to smoking. And rates of obesity are higher too, another factor linked to cancer. But there are other things, like differences in screening rates and levels of certain infections, which, when you add them up, further increase the impact of coming from a less well-off area. So what should we do about all this? For starters, it re-emphasises the need to get tough on tobacco and keep smoking rates in decline across the board. It also means looking more seriously at the causes of obesity and how to help people keep a healthy weight. And it means making sure that everyone has access to information about cancer prevention, spotting cancer early and screening. But it also should encourage policymakers to search as widely as they can for other ways to help reduce the impact of inequalities and cancer on our society.